Are we here in this moment right now? I want for you guys to come with me in the word in 2 Timothy chapter 3. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty. See, and that's one of the things that we don't preach about is preparing hearts for the moments in times of difficulty that will come upon the earth. And not just in the United States of America, but upon the earth globally. For people will be lovers of self, there. Lovers of money, were there. Proud, there. Arrogant, there. Abusive, there. Disobedient to their parents, there. Ungrateful, there. Unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, which is one of the fruits of the Spirit. Brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having the appearance of godliness, but denying its power avoid such people having the appearance of godliness but denying its power avoid such people now upon the land today we have a lot of people say for example the heresy hunters right the ones that don't have miracle signs and wonders following their preaching and their teaching the ones that always give you the letter that kills but not the spirit that has life those that always want to mock those that pray in tongues those that always want to make videos about uh and 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 criticize those that talk about um praying in the spirit speaking in tongues and they always want to make videos mocking the Holy Spirit. Denying the power. They have a form of godliness, but they deny the power thereof. Avoid such people. See, but the thing about it is, these heresy hunter videos tell you to avoid other people. And some of it's true, but some of it's not. So the question you have to ask yourself, who should you follow and and who should you give your ear to to be your teachers upon the land in the instruction and in guiding and in and, and in your guidance of walking out christianity now watch this so for a lot of these leaders that are upon the land and they're always about the letter but never about the power of the gospel manifested through the life which is through Christ in us, working through us, using us to bring his name glory. These signs shall follow those that believe. Now watch this. Who is your model? Is it the Bereans or is it Christ? Who is your model? sensationalists or Christ who is your model Calvinist or Jesus who is your model and the standard of your life from which you should be living from as your foundation from what you believe in is your faith in God or is your faith in denominationalism? Is your faith in God or is your faith in Calvinism? Is your faith in God or is it in sensationalism? Is your faith in God or is it in your Berean methods and ideologies? Yes, we are to hold to the word. I'm with you 100%. I don't believe in being outside or going outside what is written. But the question you have to ask yourself, 
is what standard of living are you living from? Is it rooted in Christ or is it rooted in your ideologies or your man's methods or your man's theologies trying to override the spirit that can only bring forth the life as it breathes upon the word of what it is that you preach and teach from? See, is the word alive and living or isn't it? Is the word that you preach and teach, is it alive or is it dead? Because a lot of these preachers upon the land preach the word as if it's dead and it's got no life to it. So what power then do you stand upon being rooted in if it's not the spirit of Christ? See, because the gospel in which we should be preaching and teaching from has power. The gospel from which we preach and teach from is alive and living. The gospel in which we preach and teach from does have miracle signs and wonders following it. So again, Jesus is the standard, not man, not Calvinism, not sensationalists, not your ideologies, not your protocols, not your methods, Christ Jesus, period. It's not about what it is you think and how it is you think Christianity is supposed to be and go. It's about the word of God by the Holy Spirit that should be leading your life as a vessel, a living epistle read by all men in demonstration with power. So if you don't have power, do you have the Holy Ghost? See, because the Holy Spirit was given to you for power. When John the Baptist sent word to Jesus, are you the one or should we expect another? You go tell John, the blind are seeing, the deaf hear, the lame are walking, the brokenhearted are being healed, those that are oppressed of the devil, are being made whole and healed. So what is following your ministry today? Is it modeling Christ or is it modeling a man's ideology and a man's method and a man's theology or is it modeling the living word that is alive and living? See, that's the reality and that's the real questions that we should be asking. And a lot of these YouTubers upon the land today that are making videos about other other ministers and making videos always about demons and always about this and always about that and always about that person and what they're doing but here's my question is that what is that what it is you're supposed to be preaching and talking about and leading people to or are you supposed to be leading them to Jesus are you supposed to be leading them to Christ are you supposed to be modeling the life or are you a slanderous somebody? Or are you a gossiper? Are you a mocker? Are you one of those ones that the Bible says that the Lord detests those that, that sow discord amongst the brethren? Which is it? Are you a follower of Jesus? Then why don't your life look like it? Are you a follower of Jesus? Then why aren't you preaching the teaching as he did? Are you a follower of Christ? Then where's the demonstration? Where's the power? And where's the word coming to alive to be able to see unveiled to the hearts of people saved and unsaved alike that there's life and power in the word? That Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He don't change. The only one that changed is your carnal mindset that thinks you got God figured out and you want to put God in the box and you don't and you don't want to live out the realities of what the word of God says or what the word of God ex explains of how it is you, you should be living. And for those that say miracles are not for today, for those that say miracles are not for today, you're crazy as can be. Talk about a demonic mindset. That is crazy.